Hey everyone, I'm so excited to be here with you today. Adrienne Everhart, I'm gonna share with you about how to get a man to miss you, why a man needs to miss you, and how to really get him to chase you, feel that deep connection with you where he misses you, loves you, craves you, and really can't get enough of you. Now, as you know, I teach feminine energy. I teach you how to get in alignment with your natural feminine energy to complement your partner's masculine energy. If you want to be in a relationship with a masculine energy man, this means you want him pursuing you, you want him claiming you, and to have these qualities in a partner it means that as a woman, you have to align yourself with natural feminine energy so that the two energies don't compete, but they work together. And so this really helps you get in touch with having a much more richer relationship. No more mediocre relationships and mediocre connections where it's hot and cold and not really feeling fulfilled this is about having this fullness and richness in your life. Having that man miss you every day is a huge component to this. He must miss you. He must think about you and wonder what you're doing, what's going on in your life. You have to be in his thoughts every day. Now, I'm gonna tell you some ways to do this um, with your spirituality, how to do it emotionally and physically and mentally. I'm going to go over these topics in this live. Now, before I get started, as you know, I have a group called I Heart Love Academy. It is now, uh, the link will be below about how you can join I Heart Love Academy. It's a private coaching group. And the other thing I want to share with you is I have a program that several of my moderators just in the past few days, we're like, Adrian, you never talk about this program. And it is called Fem Diamond. Now, I'm always talking about Fem tools for dating because it's very inexpensive. And then there's um, Fem for relationships and marriage. But there's also a Fem Diamond, which is a real deep dive into feminine energy. So if you are really ready to go deeper, and learn more about your feminine energy, I really, really recommend Fem Diamond. Go check it out. And I have, I have all my programs on a bundle as well. So let's talk about what this feminine energy essence means. I'm gonna break it down for you real simple here. It is about having the man in a place of, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep this woman I don't always know if she absolutely loves me and is crazy about me. I don't know when I'm going to get sex next. I don't know if she thinks I'm smart, funny, charming. I don't know. So it's not like, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. So can you get the difference? It's not that you have your man in this place of he doesn't feel confident in the relationship, but he keeps working as a masculine energy man. Masculine energy men want to work. They want a job. So he is always working. And I'm not talking about him running errands and picking up your dry cleaning and helping you dig the front garden bed. I'm not talking about that type of work. I'm talking about this mental and emotional work that a man has to feel every day. That every day he's popping his collar to win you and to have you in his life. The moment he feels like he's got you and he doesn't have to work anymore, the natural instinct of a man, of a masculine energy man, is to lose some interest. And we can't blame them for that. That's genetics going on. And that's the beautiful, wonderful part of balancing feminine and masculine energy is that when you balance that energy and that man feels like he has a job to do, he rests better at night. He keeps you in his mind and his thoughts. He doesn't stray in his thinking. He feels more in alignment with what he's supposed to be doing. So women at the heart of this 
when you're in your masculine energy and you're the one wanting sex all the time, you're the one pursuing the man, the relationship is out of balance and we got to get it back in balance. All right, so let's talk about this uncertainty and reclaiming your sexual essence. So sexual essence is a feeling of, I get to be the woman in this relationship. I get to receive, I'm not pursuing the man. This doesn't mean that you don't do your part in the relationship, but in my opinion, it doesn't mean that sex is 50-50. I don't mind letting my partner know when I'm ready to have sex. I have no problem letting him know that. Because if he comes to me and he says, hey, you wanna fool around? And I'm like, baby, I'm busy. I've got things to do. I don't like that energy. I don't like that feeling. So I really like to have a relationship where I let him know, I signal him to let him know I'm ready. To me, that's empowering in my sexual energy. But he doesn't know when that's gonna happen. So I kind of leave him guessing. I kind of leave him hinted and wondering when this is gonna happen again. Now, a lot of times you might wanna have sex a couple of times a week, but if you can, I want you to try to scale it back to maybe 1.5 times a week. Now what you do on that 0.5 is up to you, but that leaves that man guessing. It leaves him guessing and wondering and hot for you, and hot for you, and that's where you wanna rebalance that sexually with your feminine energy essence. Another part about this is spirituality. And it's not that I want him to be uncertain about his spiritual connection with you, but a spiritual connection is what keeps a man an honest man. He wants to do the right thing. He wants to be in alignment with God. He wants to be in the alignment of the values with his partner. And he doesn't want to seek out uh, other forms of like other women or whatever it may be to keep his life feeling fulfilled and healthy and wonderful. So when you become the source of him, of this spiritual connection, he doesn't wanna stray from that spiritual connection. He wants to keep that spiritual connection going with you. He doesn't wanna miss out on it because it feels so good when he's with you. Now, a lot of ways you wanna build a spiritual connection with a man are through the following, that emotional and the physical that we talked about your sexual essence and mental. And then that spiritual comes in when you get to experience this higher feeling with him. Yes, this can happen going to church and through worship. It can also happen when you do family events with each other. It can also occur if you listen to music with him, if you have a man that really enjoys music and they really get into that music. Have you ever noticed how much men are into music? and how they get to express and dream and feel on a level that they otherwise don't get to. So when you get to explore that with them, and sometimes my husband tells me how deep a song means to him, and I really don't feel it, but I'll go, you know, I can pick up on that energy. That's also a way to share and connect in that spiritualness is that I can feel with you. I can experience this with you. I can experience God with you. I can experience nature with you, our children, our pets, even cleaning the house. You can build a spiritual connection with your partner because it's the two of you working strong together. You can have a spiritual connection with your workout buddies because, you know, if you guys are all in the same Zumba class and you're all working and pushing and cheering each other on, you're connecting. That's a little bit like church in a way. A bunch of people all together with the same vision and the same desire to have that outcome. And you feel that spiritual connection and it's like nothing else. So, Instead of being up in your head with we gotta do this and we gotta make this happen and I gotta be on top of him and what's, what's going on and where are we going, instead of having that maintenance go through your head, I want you to drop down into your feminine energy body and I want you to align with that spirit that connects to whatever you're doing. Now, even if you have to clean a toilet, 
I want you to see if you cannot be the best toilet cleaner on the planet and connect with it at your highest spirit and your highest good. I know that's a little out there, but I wanted to give you something extreme so you can reel it back on. If you're chopping up veggies for dinner, if you're making dinner together, let it become a spiritual experience by opening your heart to what you're feeling and sensing, you're smelling, you're seeing, you're experiencing. And share this with your partner. You know, share how juicy and ripe a tomato looks or feels to you. You don't have to overshare because then it becomes about getting an outcome, but that spirit is what he wants to connect with. That's what sits in his heart all day long when he's away from you. He's feeling it, he's missing you, he's loving you, he's craving more of that spirit, okay? Now, emotionally, you want to be able to listen and be available for your man, and a lot of masculine energy women, we got a lot going on. I mean, if you could see my desk, I've got papers, I've got plans, I've got a whiteboard, I have clients I'm coaching, I've got my exercise routine, I've got my meal prep, I've got my time with my family, I've got my pets, you've got a lot going on, all right? And that's what keeps him attracted to you is that you do have a rich, full, juicy life, but you don't wanna go overboard in that. And when you connect with him, I want you to look him right in the eyes when he talks to you. And I don't care if he's telling you about the Washington Nationals Baseball League and who's getting traded this year or, <laughs> or what happened in the stock market or what's going on with his job and you're really not that interested in it. I want you to stop and just look at him. And just look at him and look around his eyes, look at his face, look how he communicates and nod and listen and you really connect with him. And you might notice your guy gets a little bit like, God, like, she's really listening to me. I better start saying something really good. That's okay. Let him feel uncomfortable. That is where you have that emotional connection, that you are available and you are present for him. Now, in Fem Diamond, I teach a program called Really, Really, sorry, I teach a tool called Really, Really Get Him, where you just see the expression on a man's face, and this can happen even over the phone, you can imagine it. You see that expression and you go, wow, that must have felt really scary. And you're really, really getting him, you know, in that moment. And even if that man didn't feel scared, he'll correct you, which is awesome because you're still connecting, you want that. But mostly, you're just giving it a shot. You're connecting with this man. Now, we talked a little bit about physicalness and being physical, your sexual essence, leaving him wanting more. And another video I talked about when you kiss a man and a man comes in to kiss you, hold that kiss, hold it. So science has proven that a 30 to second, sec, uh, second kiss will really bond us. Now, if you can't do that, if you can't, um, hold that kiss for that long on that particular day, do what I call the double tap, which is like a kiss and kiss, and your brain's gonna wanna go in for three times. I don't know why. But on that third one, lean in and then kinda come back. So he leans towards you. And let him on that last kiss be kinda pushing towards you to get that extra little kiss. Now, if you have little ones, you can practice this with them. Uh, little kids, you know, they love to give you a little hug or kiss when they're heading out to school or whatever they're doing, but it's gonna have that same sweetness to it. It's not about it being sexual, it's about it being a sweetness, but that, that last moment he comes in and pursues, okay? So uh, a lot, like my mom and I, we always kiss each other on each side of the cheek to say goodbye. And I remember one time I went to kiss her and I saw my dog out of the corner of my eye running across the yard and she went to kiss me on this side and I like pulled away and she almost lost her balance leaning in to give me my kiss goodbye. This is nothing that you want to like do to trick or deceive someone about your affections, but it just shows you that that little extra leaning in. Have you ever had somebody go to offer you something on a plate of food and when you go to take it, they take it away at the last second? So this is kind of the mentality you have, just a little bit of like leaning back, a little bit of leaning back and letting that person move in, okay? 
Now, mentally, a man likes to problem solve. He likes a job. He likes to problem solve. He likes to be the superhero. He likes to be the person who saves the day. Let him problem solve. I know that you know how to fix it. I know that you know how to do it better than he does. And I know that you can probably figure this out in a much more ergonomic and systematic uh, and faster, quicker way than he can. I do not doubt that at all. But I want you to lean back and let him solve it. But if he comes to you and says, baby, what do you think? Then you tell him. So, so often my husband, especially with gardening, he'll come to me and he'll go, well, how should we do this? And I'll say, what do you think? And I give him the opportunity and I listen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and you know, I hear it. And a lot of times he'll come up with a way to do something that I previously would have not considered. And it's better. It's better because it's different. Even though I'm analytic, analytical and I can figure something out and I'm good at problem solving, sometimes he comes up with ways of doing things that I'm like, you know, this is good. Like my way of doing it meant we did more work, but we got more done. But maybe you don't wanna do that on a Friday night. Maybe you wanna leave a little cushion of time for a nice dinner and love making. You see, that's what men are thinking about. But they want to be the one who problem solves, okay? Let him, give him that space to problem solve, all right? And you can always say, what do you think? Okay, I'm gonna take a couple of questions and then I gotta run. I'm gonna open up my chat here. And um, if any of you have any of my FEM programs, like if you have FEM Diamond, FEM Tools for Dating, uh, FEM for Love and Relationship, the FEM stands for Feminine Energy Mindset Method. And I don't talk about these programs enough. Um, Femme Tools for Dating is so inexpensive. Every time a woman comes to me with a dating problem, I'm always like, why don't you have this program? It's dirt cheap. It comes with the VIP library. I mean, go learn this stuff. Don't be in this world of like, I don't know what I'm doing so that a man ends up, you know, hurting you again. I don't want you to get hurt. That's why I made these programs. You don't have to go through what I went through. Okay, let's see here. Let's go to live chat. Um, um, JLo said, sometimes I see my boyfriend is too overwhelmed to work through problems or solve or other things. That's okay. Overwhelm is part of the deal. Overwhelm is part of life and overwhelm is usually happening up here. It's Rarely do you have like 15 people coming to you all at the same time uh, needing help with something. So overwhelm is a mental thing. And um, if you experience overwhelm, well, how do you deal with it? Because I want you to lead by example with your man. All right. Let's see what else we have. Um... <laughs> he wants to know everything about what I do. Should I tell him? Well, he sounds like maybe a little jealous, but are you in a relationship or are you just dating? Because if he's in a relationship and, and you really, or you're in a committed dating relationship and he really wants to know all this stuff about you, tell him what you feel comfortable telling him. But you can also go, hey, I'm curious why you want to know. Okay, we'll take one more. Um, <laughs> someone uh, overreacted with a guy. He was hot and cold and she deleted his number. Um, that's masculine energy. Masculine energy is like, I gotta, I gotta chop the head off this thing right now, right? Masculine energy is, I don't like the way this game's going for me. I'm gonna tip the game board over. Masculine energy is about destroying. And a lot of times destroying is what needs to happen. But it is so much easier to destroy than it is to create. And who are the creators? We are. <laughs> so whenever you find yourself like, I'm gonna destroy this thing, you're in your masculine energy. See if you can't take a couple of breaths and just slow down and reconnect, all right? 
Okay, I'll take one more question and then I gotta go. And again, a lot of these questions that I'm answering, they're, they're in my programs. It's just about sitting down, giving yourself this gift to study and learn something and giving yourself that gift to get more knowledge instead of piecing it together on, um, you know, YouTube videos or something like that. Um, oh, Emma, this is a question I get every day. I've been with my boyfriend for five years now and no engagement. Is walking away the only option? I don't think I'm ready to do that. All right, so this is gonna be my last question. It's a really important one. I have a popular blog, I'll list it in the comments below, about why walking away works. Now, this is right in alignment with the topics I'm talking about in this video. So, if you've already gone five years with a guy and he has not proposed, it's not going to happen. If it happens, you come and tell me. But I can always promise you it's not gonna happen, not without a breakup, not without you walking away, or not without you being dead serious about walking away. So if you have the ABCs to get him back, you know that at some point I had to walk away from Jeff. And I loved him very much, but I was a, I was a Tuesday, Thursday, Friday girlfriend. I wanted to be a wife. He laughed at me when I told him I wanted to be a wife. And I had to walk away and I, I knew I was going to have to walk away at some point and I wasn't ready. I loved him, I was gonna miss him, I didn't have enough going on. So you got two options with walking away and I talk about this in Fem Tools for Dating and I talk about it in ABCs to Get Him program, which also teaches you about dating. Sorry, my gardener's outside. So uh, you have to let a man know that you're willing to, someone's at my door, you guys, that you're willing to walk away. This could be walk away forever, or this could be, I need a little time to think. This is where you really just have to talk to yourself and find what it is that you need and when you're ready to do it. But in my opinion, you will have to walk away. All right, everybody, I better go and go help my gardener. Sending you all lots of love, and thanks for joining me today. See you soon. Bye-bye.